Hello and welcome to my channel, I'm Armin. In this video, I will teach you how to use cut line in Kamsal Multiphysics. My example consists of a rectangle duct, an inlet, and an outlet. Also, air goes through the duct by 5 meter per second. Okay, let's start modeling. I'm gonna click on the model wizard. The model is two-dimensional, so I'm gonna click on 2D. This is an internal flow, so I will select the K-Omega model. I will click on Add and select Stationary Study because the example is steady. Finally, I'm going to click on Done. Okay, I need a rectangle. By right-clicking on Geometry 1, I can select a rectangle. The size of the rectangle is 3 and 0.1 meters. After creating a rectangle, I will click on Build All and a surface will appear. The fluid is air. By right-clicking on Materials and select Add Material from Library, we can add air as material. I will select Materials, because all material properties are defined. The red cross has disappeared. I need a velocity inlet, so I'm going to select inlet and specify 5 meters per second. Also, I will add an outlet. After that, it's time to generate mesh. Here, we can see the number of elements. Default mesh is triangular. I need quad mesh. Therefore, I will delete the free triangular one and add the mapped mesh. Now we have a beautiful structured mesh. Finally, I'm going to click on Compute and Study 1. Here, we can see the boundary layer in the duct. I want to create three cut lines in the duct and see the velocity profile. Solutions are stored in datasets. This is the solution of this example. I want to see results on a vertical line. For this purpose, I will right-click on datasets and click on Cut Line 2D. We have to specify two points for X and two points for Y. For simplicity, I will duplicate it and change the numbers.
Now we want to see results. I will select the 1D plot group and then click on line graph. I want to see three cut lines, so I have to change the dataset to none. Here I will specify the velocity and cut line for each line graph. I'm going to select the cut line and duplicate it. These are velocity profiles. We can add legend for each result. I will change legends from automatic to manual and write our desired name. In coloring and style, we can change the shape and thickness of lines. Another data set is a 2D cut point, which can be selected from the same previous path. We can add a range instead of one point. I will add a point graph and see the velocity on points.
Thank you for watching.